Day 11. Feeling Good, Releasing Your Anger Today you address anger, how to process it and release it before it makes you sick, and how to allow space inside for more positive emotions. How does it feel to be talking to yourself every day and telling yourself that you are loved? Look in your mirror and take a few moments to congratulate yourself. You have looked deep into your emotions and started to release the past. You are now learning to play a positive tape of affirmations in your mind. Celebrate the progress you have made so far. I celebrate you and your commitment to your mirror work. While you were digging into your past and releasing your emotions, you may have discovered some angry feelings aimed at yourself or a particular event. So today, I'd like to help you work on forgiving and releasing any anger you might have so that you can feel good about yourself. Anger is an honest emotion, but when it is not expressed or processed outwardly, it can be processed inwardly, in the body, and usually develops into a disease or dysfunction of some sort. We generally get angry about the same things over and over again. When we are angry, we feel we don't have a right to express it, so we swallow it, which can cause resentment, bitterness, or depression. So it's good to handle our anger and release it whenever it comes up. If you feel like expressing yourself physically, then get some pillows and start hitting them. Don't be afraid to let your anger take its natural course. You have already kept your feelings bottled up too long. There is no need to feel any guilt or shame about feeling angry. One of the best ways to deal with anger is to talk openly to the person you are angry with. When you feel like screaming at someone, then the anger has been building up for a long time. Often, it is because you feel you cannot speak openly to the other person. So, the second best way to let our anger out is to talk to the person in the mirror. Mirror work will help you get all your feelings out. One of my students had a difficult time letting her anger out. Intellectually, she understood her feelings, yet she couldn't express them outwardly. When she allowed herself this expression through mirror work, she was able to scream and call her mother and her alcoholic daughter all sorts of names. She felt a tremendous weight lift from her when she released her resentment. Later, when her daughter came to visit, the woman couldn't stop, stop, hug, stop hugging, hugging. All this was possible because she had released her repressed anger, making room for love. So many people tell me how much happier they are once they release anger toward another person. It is as though a huge burden has been lifted. Go within and know that there is an answer to your anger and that you will find it. It is very healing to meditate and visualize the rage flowing freely out of your body. Send love to the person who is the object of your anger and see your love dissolve whatever disharmony there is between you. Be willing to become harmonious. Perhaps the anger you feel is reminding you that you are not communicating well with others. By recognizing this, you can correct it. Let's affirm, it is okay to have my feelings. Today, I express how I am feeling in positive ways. Your Day 11 Mirror Work Exercise 1. Find a place with a mirror where you feel safe and will not be disturbed. 2. Look into your eyes in the mirror. If you are still uncomfortable doing this, then concentrate on your mouth or nose. 3. See yourself and or the person you believe has wronged you. Remember the moment when you became angry and let yourself feel the anger come through you. Begin to tell this person exactly what you are so angry about. Express all the anger you feel. Be specific. You could say something like, I am angry at you because fill in the reason. I am hurt because you fill in the reason. I am so afraid because you fill in the reason. 
Four, you may need to do this exercise several times before you truly feel that you have gotten rid of all your anger. You may want to work on one anger issue or several. Do what feels right for you. The power is within you. Your day eleven journaling exercise. One, have you been angry for much of your life? Here are some questions that you can journal about to help release these habitual angry feelings. Why am I choosing to be angry all the time? What am I doing to create situation after situation that angers me? Who am I still punishing? What am I giving out that attracts in others the need to irritate me? Two, now ask yourself these questions and write down your answers. What do I want? What makes me happy? What can I do to make myself happy? Three. Think about ways you can create a new space inside you to feel good about yourself. Think about ways you can create optimistic and cheerful patterns and beliefs. Your heart thought for day eleven: I deserve to feel good. Life is very simple. We create our experiences by our patterns of thought and feeling. What we believe about ourselves and about life becomes true for us. Thoughts are only words strung together; they have no meaning whatsoever. It is we who give meaning to them. We give meaning to them by focusing on the negative messages over and over in our minds. What we do with our feelings is very important. Are we going to act them out? Will we punish others? Sadness, loneliness, guilt, anger, and fear are all normal emotions. But when these feelings take over and become predominant, life can be an emotional battlefield. Through mirror work, self-love, and positive affirmations, you can nourish yourself and relieve any of the anxiety you may be feeling at the moment. Do you believe you deserve peace and serenity in your emotional life? Let's affirm. I release the pattern in my consciousness that is creating resistance to my good. I deserve to feel good. Your day eleven meditation, your healing light. Look deep within the center of your heart and find a tiny pinpoint of brilliantly colored light. It is such a beautiful color. It is the very center of your love and healing energy. Watch the little pinpoint of light begin to pulsate. As it pulsates, it expands until it fills your heart. See this light moving through your body to the top of your head, and the tips of your toes and fingers. You are absolutely glowing with this beautiful colored light. With your love and your healing energy, let your whole body vibrate with this light. Say to yourself, "With every breath I take, I am getting healthier and healthier." Feel this light cleansing your body of disease and allowing vibrant health to return to it. Then let this light begin to radiate out from you in all directions, so that your healing energy touches everyone who needs it. What a privilege it is to share your love and light and 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 heal healing. You are in need of healing. Let your light move into hospitals and nursing homes and orphanages, and into prisons. Mental hospitals and other institutions of despair, bringing hope and enlightenment and peace. Let it move into every home in the city in which you live. Wherever there is pain and suffering, let your love and light and healing energy bring comfort to those in need. Select one place on the planet as a place you would like to help heal. It may be far away or just around the corner. 
Concentrate your love and light and healing energy on this place and see it come into balance and harmony. See it whole. Take a moment every day to send your love and light and healing energy to the particular place you have chosen. What we give out comes back to us multiplied. Give your love. And so it is.